Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today we're going to have a look at scheduling jobs on your Mac. So I just found this while I was having a look around on the internet and I come across this site here called Nathan's Blog. So he's looking at an application called Launch, which is Apple's replacement in OS X for Unix process management utilities, most notably Cron. So Cron is something within Unix that you can have do certain things every now and again on your computer. But if you're going to use it, you're going to have to delve into the command line. So he's looking at different ways of getting it going. And I suppose the thing is, is that what would you want it to do? Well, what he does is that he has his computer download his Twitter statuses. He has it check his library card for overdue books. And every morning he sets his computer volume to medium. And every week it backs up the WordPress data file. Well, I could do that WordPress thing within WordPress anyway with a uh, plugin, but there's other ways of doing these things, of course. So I looked at this and I thought, well, what could we do? Well, he's suggesting that another way of doing it, if you don't want to get into the command line, is to get an application called Lingon3. Well, I had a look at Lingon3 here on the uh, App Store, and it's 4.49 to buy for me. And well, the thing is that I've got other ways of doing these uh, timed events that are not going to require me to spend any money. So let's have a look and see what else. Well, immediately it popped to mind that I could get Keyboard Maestro Editor to do it for me. And I did. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Another possibility that it mentions is something called Chronix. It's quite simple to use, but I don't know, I didn't find it particularly marvellous. You sort of click on that there to do something new. You have to put a command in there. Well, it's got a command in there saying Echo, Happy New Year. Obviously, you could uh, have that set so that it uh, does something. It's all a bit confusing, this, I think, and not that easy to use. So you go to experts. It's not much different from the simple, really, is it? So I think we're going to give a miss on that one as well. So let's cancel that there. So what I did was is I set this up in Keyboard Maestro Editor. I think this is the best way of doing it, and it works. I'll just show you how it works. Let's go to Edit, and because it's uh, set to go off at 10.30 every morning and at 10 o'clock in the evening. And basically what I've got is I've got an application called OmniFocus that I would like to have run and uh, I can use to check my tasks for the day and the tasks for the next day and so on. And sometimes, you know what it's like with these apps, if you haven't got it open, it's out of mind, out of sight, and you forget. So... I want to have it to check my tasks and I want to do it at 10.30 in the morning at 10 o'clock in the or 10 o'clock in the evening. This is how it's set up and if I click on try. Sort out your day. So let's quit out of that and I'll show you how it's set it up. So let's uh, come over here and click on this plus symbol here and we've got an untitled macro. We call this one check tasks. So we click on time trigger. And at the moment it's set so that if you've got a dark thing in there, it means it's going to actually work. So it's going to work on every day of the week at the moment. So let's turn off Saturday and Sunday. 8.30 in the morning is far too early to get up. So we'll call this uh, 11.30. And we'll call this check tasks 2. So it's different from the other one that I made. And I can have it set up so it comes up at a different time of the day as well. So let's put it on a uh, okay, system wake trigger. So this macro will execute when the Mac wakes up from sleep. So every time it wakes up from sleep, it could do this job for me. That'd be quite useful, wouldn't it? So let's click on New Action. And I need to open up a file, folder, or application. In this case, it's going to be an application. Let's put that in there. And I'm going to ask it to open up uh, OmniFocus every day at a certain time. So we'll click on Open. So that's going to open up OmniFocus for me. So let's go to Notifications. And I'm going to have it display some text. So let's put that in there. So that's what it's going to do there. I could also tell it to play a sound or speak some text. So let's have it speak some text. We'll drag that, drop it in there. So I'm telling it to say to me, have you got it sorted? Change it from the default Vicky and we'll have it play it in Victoria. Let's give this a try and see how it looks. So click on try. Have you got it sorted? It opened up the uh, OmniFocus for me as I wanted to. And it also put a notification on the screen for me as well. So everything worked as I wanted it to. Okay, so while logged in, we can have it so it repeats every one minute. Well, that would be a bit uh, useless, wouldn't it? So while logged in, we can have it repeating um, every one hour. So there you go. This is Dave Allen showing you how you can use Keyboard Maestro Editor to set up something so that it will do a particular job for you 
at a specific time as during the day. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.